Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of uh, The Modley's Emporium with your host Andy Fares. Well, that's me behind the camera. So, in this exciting episode, I said exciting twice there, didn't I? We're going to be looking at AKO Interactives Generation 3 Acrylic Paints. Now, I have bought myself, right, three different well sort of different greens here basically because I'm running out of greens so I needed some greens so I thought hello shall I buy some greens and the answer was yes so I have got German Field Grey which is AK11154 I have got Golden Olive which is 11139 I have got Faded Green 11135 okay so there we go these come in your usual bog standard size of bottle with a different top to the twig, which is yeah, it's easier to get off. And the consistency inside is pretty good. You only have to shake it up a few times um, to get a well to mix it up really. So I don't know what they've done with it. Obviously, it's his new formula because it's generation three. But um, yeah. Um, it's got a little recess in the top there where you can put your uh, paint in the top there so you can stack it and you immediately know what paint it is. Not a really new feature because this is what I do to my Vela hose. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, okay, so let me have a quick show you here. I don't know if you can see this in the bright light that I've got here. This is what I painted the other day. Um, it does mat up really well and here I've got different shades that I've got here and this bit in the middle was when I mixed it with Tamiya paints yes you heard that correctly you can mix this stuff with Tamiya paints and it's okay as long as you don't use the Tamiya thinner the acrylic thinner um, which is X um, the X20A, which is the acrylic, which is basically isopropanol, because it clumps it up and it will ruin the brush that you've clump mixed it together with. So do not use this, but you can mix it just using plain water. Top tip there, another top tip. Um, here I've got my, this is my shot glass, which I use for my water. I can't really show you, but underneath I have a big lump of blue tack. So when you stick it down, it sticks. It don't go anywhere. Because how many times have we knocked something over? Yes, that's right. So that prevents that from happening. So so yeah, bit of blob of blue tack underneath. I'm not going to do a Laurel and Hardy sketch by showing you, because then I'll take the water out, wouldn't I? So bit of lump under there. Wedge it down, and it ain't going nowhere. So there we go. Okay, so let's enough waffle for a minute. Let me show you. Um, now, any of the British blokes will realise what I'm going to say next is golden television. Now, here's one I made earlier. Okay, so I put the faded green on. Uh, little dab of water in there but not too much because you'll see in a minute it the secret is with this paint is to thin it very carefully because it comes out a bit wish washy if you thin it too much so let me uh, oh you can't see over the lip didn't have it upright like a tweet there you go. so let me paint some of this bit on here a little square around here another thing to mention is which is quite good actually is that it does not dry very quickly so the possibilities for blending are quite good see that bit there that I've just put on um, is a little bit wishy-washy so I've over mixed the paint with some water so let me mix it all together see if I can do another bit down here which will look better 
it's all very technical this this filming lark in it this YouTubing stuff I don't know how people do it really I've got to be ambidextrous I'll give my right arm to be ambidextrous you know <coughs> anyway so there's that bit so the bottom layer is a bit more better than the the top one but it's, they're looking not too bad as I said before you can mix them together so let me uh, shove a little bit of the faded green down um, I should have mixed them up a little bit better uh, as regards um, let me dab some of the liquid off on that as regards uh, different colours but like I say I, I bought these myself I needed some greens because I was running low on my greens so the natural thing to do was to buy what you need so there we go we drew this bit very very quickly on here as you can see it's slapping down quite nicely and like I said you can blend it so there's that bit there and finally let me do a little bit of a the other olive colour and use the minutest bits of water in there mix that in around and then give that a going over on here as well Ooh, looks a bit zombie fleshish doesn't it so that's got on like that like I say, it, you can still see the gloss on it. It does take a bit of a time to actually dry off, which, is, like I said before, is not a bad thing. If you are into wet blending or whatever, then you can do it like so. Right, okay. Right, let me do this. Now, I know people do moan and all sorts of stuff. So here is a bottle of Tamiya dark yellow what we would normally use on the old tanks and yes you can hear a rattling there I have put a little ball bearing in these don't really need ball bearings in them I know some of the uh, other painting brands have a little ball bearing just to mix up the paint these really don't need it so let me uh, do a tiny little splodge of stuff in here dab that access off Probably you won't be able to see it. Let me put it over the back there so you can see it, the camera, without me mucking about with it. Can you see that there? No, probably not. Right, so this is the bit here. And now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the German grey adjacent to it. And now we're just going to mix them together. Look at that. Wow. Lovely. Alright, so that's got a nice shade to it. I don't know what the consistency is going to be like, but let's paint it on anyway and see how it goes. So there we are. So yes, you can use the Gen 3 paints in a combination of mixing it with others. Of course you can use um, mix it with Vallejo's which I've done successfully not much point showing you on here and Andrea paints I haven't used to be honest with you any other ones not really necessary because they're all pretty much of a much if they all mix together they're going to mix together with this so there we go now, like I said, the consistency is very nice, uh, as long as you get the thing right. I haven't got time to show you airbrush today, um, so we'll get down to that in the near future. So let's bring these back in. So yeah, I like them. Uh, I think they're pretty good. I would specifically use them on uniforms because they do dry very uh, to a very good matte finish like you can see on this side round here. That's extremely nice and There's some uniforms. Yes uh, I'd have to have a look at their um, face um, Colors 
and determine whether I've actually used them on the faces or on my figures at all. Um, and then the next step is to probably um, build armour to see how they react on there. And again, like I say, it needs to be uh, via airbrush. But no, Generation 3 AK Interactive um, acrylic paints. Uh, I got these off Scale Model Shop which is based up uh, in Yorkshire, I believe. Um, they're a pretty good company. Um, um, pricing of delivery is quite good and the delivery time was excellent, so no problems there. Um, I don't know where else you can find them, but I'm sure you can find them somewhere. Just Google um, AK2 okay, Interactive Generation 3 acrylic paints. All right, so this is Andy Fettis for the Models Emporium. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.